August 11th, in harmony with his law. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law. Yea, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Psalm 119, verse 34. In the new birth, the heart is brought into harmony with God, as it is brought into accord with his law. When this mighty change has taken place in the sinner, he has passed from death unto life, from sin unto holiness, from transgression and rebellion to obedience and loyalty. Erroneous theories of sanctification springing from neglect or rejection of the divine law have a prominent place in the religious movements of the day. These theories are both false in doctrine and dangerous in practical results, and the fact that they are so generally finding favor renders it doubly essential that all have a clear understanding of what the scriptures teach upon this point. True sanctification is a Bible doctrine. The Apostle Paul in this letter to the Thessalonian church declares, This is the will of God, even your sanctification. And he prays, The very God of peace sanctify you wholly. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3, 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 23. The Bible clearly teaches that what sanctification is and how it is to be attained. The Savior prayed for his disciples, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. John 17, verse 17 and 19. And Paul teaches that believers are to be sanctified by the Holy Ghost. Romans 15, verse 16. What is the work of the Holy Spirit? Jesus told his disciples, When he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. John 16, verse 13. And the psalmist says, Thy law is the truth. By the word and the Spirit of God are open to men the great principles of righteousness embodied in his law. And since the law of God is holy and just and good, a transcript of the divine perfection, it follows that a character formed by obedience to the law will be holy. Christ is a perfect example of such a character. He says, I have kept my Father's commandments. I do always those things that please him. John 15 verse 10 and John 8 verse 29. The followers of Christ are to become like him by the grace of God to form characters in harmony with the principles of his holy law. This is Bible sanctification. This work can be accomplished only through faith in Christ by the power of the indwelling Spirit of God. Said my accompanying angel, Time is almost finished. Do you reflect the lovely image of Jesus as you should? Then I was pointed to the earth and saw that there would have to be a getting ready among those who have of late embraced the third angel's message. Said the angel, Get ready, get ready, get ready. Ye will have to die a greater death to the world than ye have ever yet died. I saw that there was a great work to do for them and but little time to do it in. I saw that some of us have had time to get the truth and to advance step by step, and every step we have taken has given us strength to take the next. But now time is almost finished, and what we have been years learning, they will have to learn in a few months, and they will have to unlearn much and learn again. And those who will not receive the mark of the beast and his image when the decree goes forth must have decision now to say, Nay, we will not regard the institution of the beast. A sketch of the Christian experience and views of Ellen G. White, page 52 to 55.